I am beyond excited. This week I'm going to my favorite city in Canada, Buffalo, New York. <laughs> Buffalo is such a nostalgic city to me. You see, when I was a kid, I watched the Bills make it to four Super Bowls in a row. Nothing could be more inspiring. And then I watched them lose four Super Bowls in a row. Nothing could be less inspiring. I just felt hopeless about life for years to come after that. Now that might be an embarrassing run, but at least Buffalo can hold its head high for its most famous football player ever, O.J. Simpson. He's a sophisticated piece of the city's rich football history that I think everyone in Buffalo is proud of. The first time I was in Buffalo, I made the mistake of calling it upstate New York. I just about got crucified by the locals. They were very adamant in a not so charming way that Buffalo is in Western New York. So now I'm always sure to call upstate New York, Western New York, just to keep these upstaters in Buffalo happy. I think they're a little too attached to labels. The annual Buffalo Wing Festival in Buffalo is off the charts. It's more than a good time. It's rectal burning the next day because I like my Buffalo Wings hot. But in Buffalo, Buffalo Wings aren't called Buffalo Wings. They're just called Wings. You gotta get that straight because it'll obviously make a big difference in your life. Just like how on Mars, Martians aren't called Martians. They're just called people. When in Rome. <laughs> in the winter, there's one thing to do in Buffalo. Talk about lake effect snow. And each time there's a new snowfall record, which is basically every day, there's three things you're supposed to do when you talk about it. Number one, act surprised about the snow. You should be caught off guard like the previous three and a half decades that you've lived in Buffalo haven't clued you into the fact that the place gets a crap load of snow every year. Number two, act like the record snowfall is somehow a personal accomplishment of yours that you should be proud of, even though you did nothing. Number three, have an overt level of resentment in your tone of voice as you pridefully talk about the record snowfall because it absolutely inconveniences everything about your day. When I'm in Buffalo in the winter, it's very clear that global warming does not exist. And when I'm anywhere else in the winter, it's pretty clear that we're completely screwed by climate change. That's why I like to spend more time in Buffalo. But that doesn't matter because this weekend when I'm in Buffalo, it's summertime. Can't wait to get there and put on my number 32 Simpsons jersey and have fun with all my wonderful Canadian friends. Oh hey, uh, Buffalo, no joke, I'm coming your way to do comedy shows this weekend, Thursday, July 19th through Saturday the 21st at Helium Comedy Club. Love to have you come out and join me. I've also got VIP tickets available if you wanna get extra up close and personal with me. Anyway, you can get all your tickets at awakenwithjp.com slash events. And if it would make you like me more, then I want you to think that I didn't really mean all those things I said about Buffalo, even though I did. <laughs>